Hey guys, welcome back. We today are gonna get attacking on the idea of these SEX6 foams. I had gotten some tires, I'd cut them, they'd fail. There's a bunch of video of the failing of me cutting the tires. But what I really ended up doing was, is the shape of the tire needs to be held. And what I did is I went through and made some custom foams and I went out there and tested them. Here is the stock foam. And my foams are a little wider, just a tiny bit. Not wider, like the size of the foam, but the width wise. And the width is gonna fill that tire up a lot better. So here are the foams. Here's the new one, and here is the stock one. And we can do a little comparison. Like it's hard to show a foam with a density difference. I'm gonna show you with this pair of dikes. Okay, so I'm gonna set these on here. I'm just gonna press down on them. Let me get off the other one. So you see how it kind of conforms down pretty simply. I'm just using two fingers. Now the new foams, Press down on them and there's not as much give. You stand them up, the pair of pliers on here almost start squishing it immediately, but it's real easy to squish this down not with very little effort. Put the plier on there and it really starts to hold, you know? So it's kind of like the softness of the foam, density of the foam is one, and then it pressing on itself and giving it more support is the other way of looking at it. Hey, this is super <laughs> steep, dude. That's that's the limit. I, any more than that, it wouldn't make it. You'd have to do more modifications. Okay, just so we have an idea of what this rock is. It was, oh, it's not that steep. It's not that steep. What I'm going to do is I have a digital gauge here. And there's no arguing what this thing says. So that's 46, 47, 46, 48. 49, 47, 51 degrees right in here. So there's a big variation on what this rock has to offer. We got some steering going on. So just so we see the controller here, I'm gonna go ahead and take the controller. And I wanna idle this up just to where it's going. You can't see it on the screen right now, but I know it's roughly around 45. So there's no confusion on what the angle is. 
right now. So we're kind of going this way. So this happened before. We kind of just got to get the truck over so we can grab a little bit on the other side. And then we'll swivel back up the steering. So all truck, see this? I'm just gonna steer it. So you can see the angle on the back. So, as you can see, super slow crawling. The angle keeps on, uh, keeps on keeping on in there. It's like 50 degrees, so like, is it better over here where it's steeper? Now this is just cruise control on here, so like the truck's doing all this by itself. None of that I got skill or throttle or anything. Just straight the truck doing its thing. Here goes the front wheel up. Um, turn it and we'll start slipping a little bit but as you can see that front tire is just hanging down like like no worries so I would say if the tires were gonna be foaming or rolling or anything I mean this would be the time they would do that and it's wet I'm not only crawling at 50 degrees I'm calling wet rock at 50 degrees I do have a lot of mods from Trail on my rig um, I'm sure it does it definitely plays a factor in uh, the weight. I think it's the weight up front. But realistically, I was really worried about the tires for the most part. And as you can see, it uh, doesn't bother this thing at all. Let's just see if we can handle this. Like before, I was in crawl mode and slid down this whole thing. It's really disconcerting on a giant rig that costs so much. But we're going to focus on those tires. Oh, look at that, I jumped on it, but look. That's in, that's in crawl mode. It's just doing its own thing, holding it down. Tires just got a little tiny bit of roll to them. So this would be like a side hilling on the rocks right here. We have very, just the right amount of tire deflection here. And we're climbing sideways at 50. It's going even higher. I can't get around to there, but there we go. So we're talking wet rock climbing. I mean, the whole truck's at 51, 52. Like, get somebody. 53. Look at that. 54. Oh, goodness. I think we saw a 54 there. We're going to review the tape. Oh, slipping on some roofs up there. Oh, oh, it's slipping, bud. Oh, she's slipping. The six in the way. Just climbing it. No tire folding. So like, do the foams work? Uh, I don't know, you have to ask, uh, watch the video some more. And as well as uh, check out um, Seth and Caged XO. Look at that. So it looks like I'm kind of high sided on that rock. I'm gonna come back just a little bit and then I'm gonna go hard to we can. Ooh! So what I'm gonna try to do is come up here and I wanna hook my front tire on this rock and see if I can't just get across in this more steep stuff without bottoming my belly. So I'm looking right here, I just wanna hook this rock. Oh, oh, oh. I've actually learned a bunch about rock crawling and more technique from a West Desert Wheeler. So now we're at the factor there. You can see it 53 degrees. So now I didn't have to hit or catch. And got myself all the way through that. So yeah, these foams, I'm really excited that I could bring something to people that is gonna actually be useful uh, as far as like a thing and I'm new to the scene and I'm stoked to see what extreme measures people can do. And this is a stock body that's been kind of ripped down. And for all you guys out there, you're gonna be like, oh, you're going so slow, watch this. Is that more impressive to watch? Another factor, the cushion. So I'm flipped over on the downside, right? The tire needs to dig in. 
So I'm gonna put it all the way down and then push back. Dude, it, the foam would not allow you to do that before. So it's almost like you have a self right As long as you're on the side, I feel like there's like a self writing situation that can happen. I was just kind of trying to get it to tip over, but. Okay, there we go. So don't do that on purpose. So I'm gonna dig hard in and I'm gonna hit reverse. I mean, it was not doing that before. So lesson learned, always bring a recovery strap. I lost a servo, can't steer, gears are all stripped out. So this thing's 25 pounds. You don't wanna carry it back to the trailhead. Kevin's sweatshirt string, he's gonna attach it to the recovery hook in the front and he's gonna keep me straight. I can throttle it and we can get back to the car. It's like a quarter mile, half mile maybe. So here so, we go. So we got the DSM hooks on the front there and I actually got these custom ones he just made for me, which are bumper deletes here. So we probably need to get the uh, a proper toe strap, recovery strap, rather than a shoe. A, uh, like the one I have back at the ranger station. I got to get like a... You got a recovery straps? For yeah, I got a team? recovery strap at the ranger station for the guests in case they get one of the 24 scales stuck. You know, you got to get it back to the shop somehow. So I left the recovery strap in there. So that kind of pretty much wrapped it up. I had, it was a great experience. These foams have been amazing. And those were wet rocks with a 30 pound rig. Uh, no, it was 30, it might be less than 30 because I was with the Humvee body. So that was like an almost 30 pound rig in the wet on the rocks. And I think my foams are doing the trick. I'm really stoked for other people that are really big SCX6 fans to get some foams and it be everything you want it to be in the traction they are no rolling. It's better for jumping and like everything seems to be better for such a heavy rig. So. Man, great time. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Great experience and I hope you guys really love these foams because they've been working great for me and really making the experience of a big 30 pound rig way more manageable with the side hilling, climbing, gripping, um, slipping. Here we have a bunch of trail riding. So the trail riding is a mix of dirt and rock. So with the mix, you're never, your tires are never really all that clean. So you really need them to hold form give a little bit and then hold form to get the traction. So in this video, you saw we were climbing things at about 50 degree angle. It's our first time out at that location. And I uh, hope you go back out there. If you guys are not believers in the foam yet, hit it up in the comments below and I will order a brand new set of rims and tires, straight factory, and I can do a side-by-side -side comparison with the new foams. So I really hope this is a game changer for you guys. And the big thing that happened with the foam is that this foam, the density of this foam is a lot thicker and it'll take a lot more weight. So this way the tire is actually not folding down to the rim, holding the shape and only rolling the proper amount when side hilling or climbing and giving some real good support. And I've had nothing but amazing results from these foams. And uh, for anybody that orders them, hope you really, really, really enjoy them the way that we have because this is a game changer and really made the crawling, the trail trucking in this rig that much better. See you on the next one.